Hi everybody and welcome to a brand new episode of Video Game Dad, the show that is a blue blur. I'm the VG Dad, and this of course is the VG Kid. I don't have to tell you who Sonic is. For one thing, we've already played some of his games, and for another, he's the face of Sega. Sonic has been around for 25 years now, and his games have run the gamut from Game of the Year contenders to Birdcage liners. But most Sonic fans agree, Sonic games were at their apex in the 16-bit era, and everything after has been... Well, that's a conversation for another day. Get your running shoes. Today, we are playing... Sonic 3 and Knuckles! That's right, we are playing Sonic 3 and Knuckles for the Sega Genesis. Are you ready to get started? Okay, Sonic BG Dad. <laughs> Alright, let's get to it. Of course it is a new game. Of course it is a new game. And we're playing a Sonic. Oof, that was silly. Alright, well, hey guys, we're playing Sonic 3 and Knuckles. And because it's fun and people seem to enjoy it, it's gonna be co op chaos. Even though I'm selecting one player, it actually will be two player. I'm gonna be Sonic. VG Kid's gonna be Tails. It's gonna be a good time. So let's watch this little intro scene. This is Sonic VG Dad. This is Sonic VG Dad. Yep. Wait, uh, that's your name. I'll be honest. The reason that I decided to play a Sonic game is because VG Kid made us a really cool sign out of her rainbow scratch paper, and I thought. We really, ought, we really need to take advantage of this. So here we go, we're playing Sonic 3 and Knuckles, and you are Tails, and what you can do, what's cool about this, what they added to Sonic 3 that's different from Sonic 2, is Tails can actually fly. So if you jump, and then when you're in the air, hit jump again, it's just this button, you'll start flying. So jump, and when you're in the air, hit jump again. Let me just practice. And look at that. And you gotta keep pushing it, and you'll keep flying. So do it again. And now catch me, and now we're gonna fly! Yeah, keep you gotta keep pushing it and you'll fly. So I'd briefly like to talk about some of the history of Sonic 3 and Knuckles. I'm going the wrong way. I thought I was going towards a ring. Um, it's a fairly common known thing that this started out, basically Sonic 3 and Sonic and Knuckles are ostensibly two separate games. Uh, but they started out, whenever this game started being produced, it was actually intended to be Sonic 3 and Knuckles was just all one game. But I'm not 100%- A giant ring. Yeah, this is the bonus stage. This is how we get the Chaos Emeralds. This is actually the first time that the Chaos Emeralds really matter to get the full, proper, good ending, I guess? For lack of a better term. Uh, it was taking too long to produce or the game was getting too big, so they ended up dividing it into two separate teams to work on two separate games. And so we ended up with Sonic 3 as the first six stages of the game, and Sonic and Knuckles is like the last six or seven, I can't remember exactly how many. But this incorporated what they ended up doing to make it so that you could play the full game all together is the Sonic and Knuckles cartridge. It had another little slot, like the console slot, that you could plug into it. And it allowed you to play, oh no, it allowed you to play the full game as it was originally intended. Oh no. Oh no, I'm so- oh, I blew it. I blew it on the bonus stage. I was never very good at those bonus stages. So anyway, Sonic and Knuckles had the little uh, adapter deal in, in the top of it where you could plug Sonic 3 into it and you'd be able to play the full game. And what this also allowed you to do is play as Knuckles for the whole game, which Knuckles is the new character. He was the red dude that we saw at the beginning that he punched Sonic when he, we showed up and stole all the Chaos Emeralds. Because as the story goes, if I'm remembering this correctly, uh, Dr. Robotnik tricked Knuckles into thinking that Sonic was trying to uh, do something bad to his home and steal the Master Emerald, I believe. And so Knuckles was like, oh, no, that's no good. I'm going to beat this Sonic guy up and steal his stuff. Bonk, bonk. And so he did. But then later Knuckles finds out that he was tricked and he uh, ends up helping Sonic and Tails to defeat Dr. Eggman, Dr. Robotnik. I think this is another bonus stage, maybe. We're gonna try again. We're gonna try this bonus stage again. I'm gonna try really hard. I was never very good at these. Um, my best friend, whenever this game came out, uh, he had, I actually never had Sonic 3. I had Sonic and Knuckles. 
and he actually was like amazingly good at these bonus stages and he could clear this game like no no problem but I never really could I wasn't too good at it and I'm still not very good at it as you guys saw well things just got kind of wildly out of hand guys Soon coming up is my little sister Kaylee's birthday. You keep saying that. I think you've said that for like the last two or three episodes that her birthday is soon, and that's still not exactly true. It's like two or three months from now. Yeah, that's not exactly soon. But you know what is soon? What? Our 100th episode. Do you know what episode this one is? Oh. 28? Yeah. 28? 27? <laughs> no, you're not even close. 26? Are you even trying? No, this is episode 99. So what? we've got some we've got some really special stuff planned for the 100th episode, and I'm really excited to record it. But that's next week. This is this week, and hey, I got a chaos emerald. Now it's time for chaos. Maybe not. There's tails. My best pal, tails. Oh. You're, you're <laughs> off on your own mission here. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> I I really enjoy watching you play as Tails, because I was always... I think I went out of the screen. Yeah, you'll come back. That's the nice thing about being Tails, is that you always come back. Um, yeah, whenever I played this game with my friend, like I said, he had Sonic 3 and I had Sonic and Knuckles, so I would always take my Sonic and Knuckles cartridge over to his house. Actually, really quick. This stuff right here, that's a thing that can only be accessed by Knuckles. There's a few things that are littered throughout the game that are like that. Dadgummit. That stunk. But anyway, I would always play as Tails. I honestly, I always liked Tails. Tails was always my favorite character. I don't really know why. To be honest, he's really cute. Yeah, maybe that's why. I mean, Maybe I liked cute animals the same way that you do. I don't really know. Let's see. I think it might actually behoove me to get this water shield. So that is one of the thing, one of the other things that they added into this game uh, that's different from Sonic 2 and Sonic 1 is that in those games there was only just the one shield, but this one has three different ones, and they've got different properties. So the I water shield. I right on the grass. Yep, the water shield makes it so that you don't have to worry about uh, getting air when you're underwater. Uh, the fire shield gives you a cool little fire spin attack deal. Hey. And the lightning shield. Why am I underwater? Oh no, I lost my shield. The lightning shield gives you a double jump and it, I think it's just a bubble. Yep, it is. It's basically a bubble. The lightning shield gives you a double jump and it actually attracts the rings to you. It's like a magnet. It's pretty cool. Hello. I landed in it looks like a secret pathway. It does kind of look like a secret pathway, but I think this is actually the way you're supposed to go. Oh no, that dude totally donked me. Well, that well, was you were time. on the roof of oh it. Oh my gosh. I was on the roof of it? Yeah, I guess I was. Oh no. Gotta jump. Gotta jump fast. <laughs> Come on, Tails. Let's go kill some bad guys. You can help me out. You can kill these bad guys. Or I can just run into them like a ding dong. I always really liked Sonic. I thought Sonic was a great, uh, a really fun game. I was kind of sad that I never owned an actual copy of Sonic 3 myself. Uh, just because it did kind of mean I wasn't getting the full game. Actually, well, I'll just jump on the spikes like a ding dong. Let's go to one of these bonus stages. Yeah, I always really liked Sonic. I think I may have probably played Sonic games a lot more than I ever did uh, any Mario games. Uh, but that just kind of goes back to the fact that uh, when we were, when I was growing up, I had the Sega Genesis in my room, and my brother Whoa, had the Super Nintendo in his so room. Fast. I was going so fast. I think we're getting to the boss right about now. Wow. But yeah, we're actually, we're playing this, uh, we're playing the Steam version of this game because I'm pretty sure the last time we played a Sonic game was for the Sonic, roughly around the Sonic anniversary. I don't think I had planned it that way. It just kind of hap it happened to coincide because Lord knows I love doing that kind of stuff accidentally. Um, but the Sonic anniversary, whenever that came around... Uh, there was a sale on all the Sonic games that were on Steam, so I got these for, like, dirt cheap. So I've got all of the Sonic games that were available on Steam. And we might eventually play some of the other ones. I don't know. It kind of depends on how well my... Oh, no. Well, I didn't see that coming. It kind of depends on if my computer can even really handle them. I know we will probably do Sonic CD eventually, just because it's a very different 
from the other Sonic games because it's a lot more about it's more like an Arr! exploration game than bad. a gotta go fast game. It's pretty interesting. Like if, if you play it without knowing that you're supposed to be exploring and you're just trying to get to the end of the stage, you probably won't enjoy it. I can jump. Oh, you're getting blown up by those bombs, kid. Sometimes Hello. Sometimes you just have to stay still. Sometimes you just have to stay still? Yes, yeah, Sonic, sometimes you just have to stay still. Why don't you learn that lesson, dude? Uh-oh. Oh. Uh-oh. Oh, good night. Oh, well, that happened. Well, I just floated over here, sir. Carry me, Tails! <laughs> Carry me, Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, everything's going... Oh, no. Oh, everything went totally pear-shaped on me. Game over? Who gets a game over in a Sonic game? Me, I do. Let it never be We're said that I'm an incredibly skilled gamer. I just like playing games for fun. We're just like a team. We are like a team. We're Team <coughs> DG. <laughs> you just you just keep flying, Tails. You keep getting bombed by those bombs. So yeah, since... I uh, think I just floated <laughs> over it. So I did mention before that one of the things that, uh, one of the things you get added by having the whole game together is you get to play as Knuckles for the Sonic 3 part of the game. Uh, basically what it does is that in Sonic and Knuckles, you get to choose. You play as either Sonic or Knuckles. And I always liked playing as Knuckles, even though apparently the Knuckles stages versions of the stage are a lot harder. I didn't know that as a kid. I just thought it was cool because, like, one of the, the special power that Knuckles has... Ah, oh my gosh. <clears throat> the special power that Knuckles has is that he can glide. And he also, he's got... The reason he's called Knuckles is because he's got spiky knuckles. So he can punch through certain walls. Like, we passed a couple of them. You just... Glided through it. Yep, pretty much. That was how I played as Knuckles. I just glided through the stages. So I got, like, really good at the first couple of uh, Sonic and Knuckles stages. Uh, Mushroom Hill and B Flying Battery Zone. I never understood why it was called Flying Battery because I was just like, it doesn't look like a battery at all. It's a giant evil airship. And it was later the in my life that I learned the, all the other definition of battery. Meow, 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 meow. Now we're in the obligatory water stage. But anyway, I just, I brought that up just because I had a strategy guide for Sonic and Knuckles. And in it, there, had, there were pictures of you playing as Tails. And I was always just like, well, how do you how do you play as Tails in this game? Because like I said before, I really loved Tails. Tails was my absolute favorite character. And I just, I wanted Maybe to play as Tails. Maybe it's because he's cute. I think it probably was. I just wanted to play as Tails. And so we actually ended up calling a, uh, I don't think, it might have been like a Sega helpline. To be like, hey, because, uh, you know, that was a thing back in the day. You could call, it was like an 800 number and you paid a nominal fee for your time t for them to answer your questions. Uh, and we called a helpline, me and my dad. And we were just like, how do you play as Tails in Sonic and Knuckles? And they were like, yeah, you've got you to gotta plug in the Sonic 3 game to Sonic and Knuckles. And I was like, oh, man. I do love the music in this game. And it is worth noting that... I don't know that it's ever been officially confirmed, but it is like a long-standing, for lack of a better term, we'll just say that it was a rumor that Michael Jackson composed a lot of the music for this game. Do you know who Michael Jackson is? No. No, you don't know who that is? Well, he was a very big pop star in the 80s and 70s, and he and his family had a band called the Jackson 5, and he made a lot of really catchy pop songs. And there were some other controversies that may or may not have been true. None of them were ever officially confirmed, so we won't get into that. Um, hmm. But it was a long-standing rumor that he composed some of the music for this game. And it's... I think I floated over that thing. Yeah, you did. Oh, no! That guy hmm. totally donked me that. Ugh. Ugh. Hello. I just... Oh, no. I'm running out of air. Oof. That that song I that just tune. I have to float over here. Yep, you do. That tune still gives me nightmares. That your drowning tone, like, ugh, it's terrible. It's terrible. Oh no, 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 no! I must get. Anything scary makes me have nightmares. Anything scary makes you have nightmares. Well, fortunately, there's not a lot of scary stuff in this game. 
It's mostly just a goofy game. A goofy game for, for goofies. For this one, I can let the controller go. Yep, that's true. You're just gonna chill out and relax and watch me be really amazingly good at this. This one's not too hard. Part of the problem I have with this is that my controller is not 100% uh, responsive. It's like there's a slight delay. So it makes a game or a mini game like this very difficult because it requires extremely tight reflexes. Although I will say it is a poor carpenter who blames his tools, so you know, maybe I'm just a poor carpenter. Uh, yay, I got another Chaos Emerald. I'm amazing at video games. One of the other things that this adds when you do the Sonic 3 and Knuckles together is if you get all the Chaos Emeralds, you get Super Sonic, and that's how you get the good ending. Uh, but if you get all of them, and then when you get into the Sonic and Knuckles stages, you can actually get seven more Hyper Emeralds that get, allow you to be Hyper Sonic or Hyper Knuckles. And basically, what you get with Super Sonic is you're fa even faster than regular Sonic, and you're invincible, and uh, you turn gold. And what else do you get when you're Super Sonic? I think that's it, but then with Hypersonic, you get even faster, and you get a little shadow that uh, looks exactly like you, that follows behind you. It's mostly just an aesthetic thing, but still it's pretty cool. I've never gotten, I don't think I've ever gotten even Supersonic in any of the Sonic games. Do I have to let go in this one? I'm not sure, you might not even be in this one. You may have bopped out of the exit already. Oh, I'm about, yep, that's, that, I just bopped out of the exit too. You're back. VG Kid is back in the mix. All right, we're gonna bop this boss, or I'm gonna get bopped by the boss. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, for real? Oh, and I think it changes the boss music. The boss music is actually different for Sonic 3 versus Sonic and Knuckles. Whereas this version, when you have them both together, plays the Sonic and Knuckles boss music. Which, frankly, I like a lot better. That's just a personal opinion. Ooh, that was close. You were about to drown. It was counting down on you. Sweet, we beat the boss. We get to we get to end this on a high note. It's not the main boss of the stage, but it is the Act One boss. We did it. Yay, VG fam. We're pretty great at video games, right? Knock knock. Oh, we got to hear the cat joke of the day before we end the episode. Let's hear it. Knock knock. Who's there? Harmony. Harmony who? Harmony no, no, jokes are you willing to hear? <laughs> that was pretty good. Alright guys, that's gonna do it for this episode. We'll see you in the outro. So after a little bit of time with Sonic 3 and Knuckles, what did you think? Pretty good. What did you like about it? Tails because he's cute. And is there anything that you did not like? Having to beat the bosses. That's my least favorite art. Yep, that's that's like a thumbs down. That's fair. So what kind of rating do you want to give to this game? Uh, five rainbow apples. Five rainbow apples. Sounds good to me. Well, despite the title of this game being a weird, awkward mouthful, it's still an absolute blast. This is Sonic in peak form, and easily one of the best games, or pair of games, on the Genesis. The platforming is tight and precise, and the various alternate paths mean there's always something new to discover. Having three different characters and three different ways to play also gives a huge amount of replay value. All of this on top of looking spectacular and having a soundtrack that is catchy, memorable, and downright iconic. There's no two ways about this. You have to play this game. Well, that is all the time that we have for this week, guys. We hope that you enjoyed this episode, and we hope that you will come back next week. And until then, keep playing.